Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a dilation. So once you have the object you'd like to dilate graphed on the coordinate plane, you're going to go to Menu, Geometry, Transformation, and Dilation. And again, if you forget how to perform a dilation, you're just going to hover over this icon and it's going to give you the instructions. So first we're going to click on our object, which is a triangle. And then we're going to click the center of dilation. So a lot of times um, we do dilations uh, centered about the origin. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the origin. And then I'm just going to type in my scale factor. So let's say I want to dilate by a scale factor of 2. I'm just going to type in 2, press Enter. And now we have our image, which is labeled in prime notation. Okay, one of the new concepts this year in geometry is going to be dilations from a point not the origin, so I'm going to go ahead and press Control c and remove this original dilation, and now I want to dilate it um, from a point at 3, 1. So I'm going to first click on the object that I want to dilate, then I'm going to click on the center of dilation, which is going to be 3, 1, and then I'm going to type in my scale factor, which I'm still going to have as 2. You can see that now the image is in a different location, but it's still twice as big, just like the previous one. Um, fraction and decimal scale factors can work as well. So let's do one more. I'm going to click here. I'm going to have a center of dilation here at point A. And let's say I want the scale factor to be 1 half. So I'm going to type in 1 half and press Enter. And now I have a dilated triangle where the image is one half, um, the length of the sides of the image are one half the length of the sides of the pre-image.